A nice cup of tea ready. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners. Let's have a look at the Advanced button by BD Themes in the Element Pack add-on for Elementor. You type up here in the widget box and you look for Advanced, and there you see the button, first one that appears. I drag and drop. And by first appearances, nothing special. There's a hover effect, but actually that is what makes this button different than the standard included button that comes with Elementor. And that is that it has some effects that can be applied when you hover over it. Go to Style, Effect, and currently we are on Effect A. So let's have a look at the rest. That's B. Slide in from the left. Expand from the middle. I'm giving it names as I go along. Expand di diagonally from the middle. Expand horizontal. Uh, well, is it vertically from the middle? Fade up into infinity and beyond. Camera shutter from the top circular wise and then camera shutter open. These are the effects that you can apply to this button. And you can even include this one over here that says attention. When I click on that, you will see the button will be shaking like a leaf on a tree. And then you have your normal styling options over here. Let's just update it so you can have a look at it on the front end and that it works properly. You see that shake there. And then if I go and I click on it, it will do that open shutter effect. And you will actually see that the shaking occurs every few seconds. So it's really, really out there to grab your attention. Let's have a look at the few styling options that you can find on the bdthemes.net website. Right, these are all the effects that we had looked at. You can also play around with the sizes. This one has got that attention applied to it. Icons, of course, and then colors. This is very easy to achieve. You just make your border dashed or dotted. I like the dotted one though. And then the gradients, and you can apply even an image to them and a little bit of a shadow and then your icon style. This one, you will have to apply some good padding and, and margins here. It's not that easy to achieve. I gave up after a while. It isn't built in that you just can say there's a box and activate the box. You will have to go and play with the size of the icon and the color background of the icon. But I like these. They work well enough. And like I said, the only difference between this button and the included button with Elementor is this effect as well as that shaky shaky effect over there.